This short video will talk about photographs I made in the sky of Jupiter and Saturn in 2020 and summarize the measurements uh, from those photos. Uh, it was an interesting event to see um, Jupiter become closer and closer on the sky to, to Saturn. Uh, it started in August, uh, a photograph of Saturn here on the left and Jupiter here somewhat near the asterism of the teapot in the constellation of Sagittarius. Uh, during the fall of 2020, Jupiter is moving at a greater angular speed on the sky than Saturn and slowly caught up um, on December 21st. So we'll talk about those uh, measurements. I want to show you the picture on December 21st of 2020. This is from a different location, still in southwest Omaha. But now the two planets are so close that on this photograph you'd have trouble uh, seeing them as separate objects, just 0.1 degree apart from each other. So here's a typical photograph that I, that I have. In this case, the moon is here. It's overexposed. I wanted to pick up stars in the uh, photograph so I could make angular measurements on the sky. These, some of these stars, you know, two or three or perhaps four, on a picture I would use as reference stars. I'd measure the number of centimeters between these two stars. I would calculate the uh, uh, angle between the two stars on the sky. And this, the details of this are described in another video that I made. Just want to give the summary here. But I'd, I'd use the stars to calibrate the photograph and then the measurement between Saturn and Jupiter in centimeters could be converted to an angle. In this case, 3.4 degrees apart for the two objects on uh, November 19th. So that was the, the mechanism. Here's the last photo, December 21st. This is uh, cropped uh, to see more details. Saturn here not quite resolving the rings of Saturn. This is not with a telescope. It's with a digital camera on a tripod. Jupiter, and you can see some of the moons of Jupiter in this straight line across here. Um, so interesting to have those uh, close together in the sky, a conjunction. So here is a summary of the measurements that I made in 2020. I, I'm somewhat of an amateur astronomer, a retired educator teaching this physics and astronomy. But I uh, thought this would be a nice project for my retirement years to take photographs of the sky and measure the angular separation of Jupiter and Saturn. They're never in danger of collision. They're very far apart in space, but on the sky, they do uh, get close together. So September 13th, 8.2 degrees. I'm not gonna read all these. Uh, please pause the video if you want to uh, inspect this list in more detail. Uh, but down to 0.1 degrees on December 21st. All of these numbers are measurements. These are not the more accurate uh, angular separations that could be calculated with some planetarium program. Um, measurements from my photographs, and there was measuring air. I measured in centimeters just with a simple ruler on my computer monitor. I did not print these off and try to do a very, very accurate measurement of the uh, distances. Uh, and I'd estimate the errors that crept in here in the early fall would be 0.2 degrees, plus or minus 0.2. So this number could be 7.2 up to 7.6. I'd expect the true value to fall someplace in the range of 7.2 to 7.6 degrees separation. Uh, later on, I did more cropping and made the uh, uh, objects um, more measurable. And I'd estimate I'm only off by plus or minus 0.1 degree uh, for these uh, photographs from December. So an interesting project. Uh, Jupiter did get closer to Saturn. Uh, the two objects uh, only 0.1 degrees apart on December 21st. If you'd like to view some of the other videos I have, uh, introductory courses in physics and astronomy, full courses, lectures, and worked out sample problems, uh, descriptive astronomy. Uh, but uh, trigonometry-based physics, there are a few calculus videos that are in a separate category. Um, but uh, please view these websites or go to these websites. I do not collect any personal information. There's no registration. There's no cost. 
I don't set cookies. Uh, I don't uh, ask for donations. Totally free. Uh, but you'll find a name of a video, how long it is, uh, a description, and a direct link to the YouTube video at these websites. Hope you enjoy and keep looking at the sky.